What up Transformer fans, this is Sean Long bringing you a TF Source toy review and this time we're doing it as a Fans Project G3 trailer for Classics Optimus Prime. Before I start I want to say thank you to TF Source for providing me an amazing toy and if for the latest in Transformers whether it's custom Transformers like this or Encore figures or anything like your Transformer Hearts Desire, please check out TF Source, link is in the sidebar. Let's check out the packaging. Fans Project has given us another amazing toy with amazing packaging. Even says here, this trailer design and presented by Fans Project is fitted with other truck and robot toys by another company, truck and robot is not included. So that's cool that this can be fitted with other trucks or robots so that's pretty cool that they acknowledge that we even get a little warning choking hazard thing which is really cool salute the legend g3 trailer is a collectible item not a toy not if i can help it for ages 15 and up but yes the g3 trailer has very nice packaging this is made for the mint and sealed box collector so you can display all the items you got the little carrier or roller as we know them and it comes with all the little chromed out weapons here very nicely to display more beautiful packaging as it shows all the features like the stealth mode we got the repair station mode towing function fit for city commander shadow commander powered commander all sold separately we got little more details here and more warning symbols but we got the turning manipulator and camera we got just amazing amount of detail in this package and there's wait there's more now if you got a Henke or classics optimus prime ultra magnus nemesis prime whatever guess what you can do you can display it inside the box just flip this up and you can display it or you can remove this in entirely but if you want to you can display it in trailer just like a g1 optimus prime toy it's very nice touch all right enough about the box let's open up this sucker so here we got the g3 trailer in all its glory before i go on to the trailer itself i just want to let you know that it comes with this really nice instruction booklet it explains everything how everything works i even like it better than the hasbro instructions and it shows you where to apply the stickers and everything and give yourself about 15 minutes to half an hour and apply all the stickers that you have to apply on this thing plus you have to cut all the extra weapons out of their little chrome little things you know just like how they came in the 80s so here we got the g3 trailer the out outside it definitely has the g1 inspired uh, stripe going on it very nice detail those of the trailer pretty much are almost identical except that the classics prime rims are a little different than the rims of the trailer but it's only a minor thing back of the trailer says g3 trailer bot city uh roll out really nice touch you can see all the paneling and details the fans project made another superb high quality toy here's a little size comparison of the g1 prime trailer with the g3 trailer you can see it is a little bit bigger since prime is bigger here's the differences from above definitely a big difference classics prime rolls really well with the trailer on here you can turn move very freely now what's a really cool feature of this trailer if you have the city commander set like i do you just pull out the little connector piece right back here make sure to lift the bumper up like this and then you're gonna pull out the wheels like that and then lift up this little part up like this and you can take your city commander or power commander whichever uh, you have and then you can place this up on here now if Ultra Magnus is being a lazy son of a gun Prime can also hold his trailer and bring it out of there oh Magnus do I have to do everything around here oh. well of course Prime I'm always the right repaint of you so you always have to do the work big dog I think I want to point out the turning axis gives Prime a lot of room to move around same with if you have the power of city commander here to turn around Prime can definitely make those wide turns and transform it back it's just really easy you just flip this down you fold in the wheels then you want to bring this back in this will clip into place now onto the back of the trailer it opens up really cool you can open up uh, the doors like this and then this part comes down and then extends out which is a very nice touch at the bottom of the front of the trailer the, the, where the little hatch if you actually pull that this will spring load our favorite little guy and everyone knows who i'm talking about come out of that roller we got roller here he's very nice has some red translucent windows and headlights he also has some very nice detail you can see as a g1 carrier on their bot city so even he comes with a little license plate so it's very nice you can see he's the same size as the g1 roller which is also a very cool touch 
and he has the three uh, wheels. What's cool about Roller, even though he's small, he can be packing. You can take either of the uh, Classics Optimus Prime's guns. It has a little hole where you can put the little handles in either one, and they can move them out. Uh, the way that this uh, gun is attached, uh, it, it's going to always be pointing up, really, otherwise can't really point forward that much. But with the red gun, you can put this in here and you can move it forward and rotate this all the way so this one actually works a lot better when it comes to roller. I may be small, but I'm packing heat mofo. I, I guess that's how roller it's at. Also another cool thing that roller can do for people that have the TF Con exclusive uh, power case, roller can extend and you can bring these parts out. And he actually has room for the suitcase to hold it on there. So um, he'll hold Prime's little lunchbox suitcase thing. That's why Prime has roller around. He always brings them his Energon lunch. You can close this back up and then extend this out. And then there you go. Another cool thing, you can take your classics or or universe figures and you can place them in the Prime's trailer for him to carry on there and they will do fit in there. You could fit two but they would kind of overstack each other but one can at least fit in there. Now let's move on to what's inside the trailer. Let's transform it into its repair bay mode. What you want to do is take this little supporter and bring this down and then you want to take these little parts on the side and bring the little supporters down on both sides to so bring them down. So you'll have it very nicely supported now. Now we're going to open the doors again. Open them up, pull down the little ramp here, and then we're going to open up the trailer. There you go. And last, what you want to do, you want to lift up the little Teletran repair guy, lift this part up like this, and then take his arms out. And there you got the G3 trailer in its repair bay mode. You can see all the nice detail, and there's the sticker supply. Plus, on each side of the trailer, has all these little pegs which you can place the weapons and hold them on there because each weapon has a hole and it's very cool that it has weapon swords for all these different weapons and you can hold them with, with just the weapons or when they're still attached to the little um, clip thing. Also you can see there's a little section where you can hold each of Prime's guns. There's a little hole where you can peg in the little handle from Prime's big old red gun. And then there's a little section that clips in his uh, black blaster right there. So that's really cool that you can have weapon swords for Classics Prime's weapons. On to the little drone repair guy. What's really cool is that he does have the same like detail as Roller with the red uh, win uh, windshield right here. He has a little scope thingy that comes out for repair bay mode to, you know, when he's repairing, you know, damage all the bots. And then he has also articulation. Uh, he can rotate 360 degrees at this joint right here, go up and down. His arms can rotate 360 degrees. They can go in and out. Uh, they bend, they have ball joints right here so they can rotate 360 degrees, go in and out. And then also the little claws can open and close. So you can take your Classics Prime and position it just like the G1 trailer and have the repair bay standing up. And it looks just amazing. Not only does this look like a repair bay, but this looks like a wall of weapons that the Autobots all keep. It does work well with Prime size. Even though he's a Voyager, it works well. You can have this thing go lower or higher if you need to, depending on what size figure you're using. And it's really cool because it looks like he's giving Prime a massage. Oh yeah, Teletran one. It's just been one of those days. Oh, give me in that spot. Oh yeah, that my servo has been killing me all day. It's all oh, thank you. No problem, Prime. Do you want any oil? Oh, that sounds so good right now. Also cool about the repair bay that you can take the arms and place them back in their spots right here and this will transform. Just place this back here. When you lift this up, the, it has some automorphing action and the guns come out and it becomes like a little battle station. Also a cool touch that it has a blast shield that you can lift up to protect Prime. So you can see there's a little targeting system for Prime so you can shoot down some deceptive creeps. You can take the holes inside Classics Prime and put it inside the pegs of here so he can hold on to the battle station very securely. And there you got Prime manning his battle station gun. He looks very nice. Looks very menacing in there. He's ready to shoot down some Decepticons. creeps. Wow, this is the coolest 3D ever. It looks like I'm really shooting down Decepticons. Um, Prime, you are shooting down the Decepticons. Oh, yes, I meant to do that. Yes, go transform and roll out Bumblebee now. Okay, Prime. Now, Prime is outside of the trailer right now. If you want him inside, you'll have to move his legs around. But he looks pretty good, and he uh, works well like this, and it's fine. And you can move them 
left and right a little bit so it's in up and down or whatever you need so it is a pretty cool feature just like the g120 take the roller here and push him back into his little uh dog house i mean uh, robot house and you can put in there and like i said that switch i showed you earlier you can pull it back and he comes right out this shininess right here is five chromed out weapons that you get for accessories for all your classic universe figures you have a little shoulder cannon you can use for universe sideswipe a shoulder cannon for your classics mirage a shoulder cannon blaster or seat blaster for your universe hound a blaster for your classics bumblebee and this really nice sword for your classics grimlock and let me show you how they all look with them bumblebee now finally equipped with a proper gun we got Sideswipe with his shoulder cannon. We got Mirage with his shoulder cannon. We got Hound with his little shoulder cannon blaster on his chair. We got Prime holding a sword since I don't have Classics Grimlock. I did. But hey, if anyone deserves this big old sword, it's Prime. I mean, it's his freaking trailer, you know? Autobots, you finally all have weapons. Oh my god, we have weapons and they're not wrecking balls and fire extinguishers. They're actually guns. Oh my god, we love the 80s. Now I'm going to show you the last feature of what makes this this trailer so much more superb than the best toys trailer and just one of the coolest features ever. Everyone always wonders where the heck does Prime's trailer go when he's in robot mode. Fans Project came up with an amazing solution. You would open up the trailer, grab these panels on, open this up from both sides, then you bring this down to give it into stealth mode. Make sure you get the panels on the top here. Shake them on the top. Should get them on the top, on the top here. Now you saw Prime's trailer, now you don't. I mean, how genius was this? All mirrors, it is just a brilliant idea and you can cover it up all the way. You have to be careful because if you touch uh, the surface, it will create smudges, but you can isolate it or you can just wipe it with a little cloth. But I just love this little stealth mode. It is just amazing. What's cool about this, Prime can use the trailer in stealth mode as like a force field. And I think that explains a lot in G1 why the Decepticons can never shoot the Autobots because Prime uses trailer as a force field. I'll get you, Optimus Prime! Oh yeah? Well, try shooting me then. Fine, I will! Ah! What the hell happened? Self mode is just simply amazing and it's really easy to transform it back in the t to non-stealth mode. And you just flip up all the panels back here and then you lift this back up and then fold this back in. Dan's project has gave us another winner with the G3 trailer. If you love the City Commander said and wanted a trailer for your Classics Optimus Prime, this is the trailer to get. It retails for 80 bucks, but I think that's a steal for everything you get, especially coming from a fan-made company. I mean, you get a trailer that has the attack of repair bay drone, Teletran guy. The trailer has all the same features as the G1 trailer with the roller that actually can hold weapons. It comes with all the extra weapons for all of these Autobots you see here. It has the stealth mode, which is just an amazing feature. And you can hold your city commander or a power commander set on there. I mean, this is just a top of the line fan made toy. I can't recommend this enough and definitely you should pick it up at www.tfsource.com. I want to thank TF Source for sending me out this. TF Source is the best. You should all go and buy your Transformers them. They rock. I hope you guys enjoy my reviews. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long Roll now. Ooh, that was a long review. Okay, Roller, bring us all a sandwich. Okay, bro.